Hi guys, Abs here and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be taking you over some brand new features for our latest WordPress plugin called WP Curation Pro. In the last video, I made notes and showed you exactly how WP Curation Pro helps you achieve a high Google Fresh Factor and how it helps you maintain a high freshness score and it done this by automatically updating your content on a frequent basis and automatically syndicating your content as well. And it allowed you to do this on a weekly, monthly, bi-weekly, annual basis basically on a schedule of your choice and your preference. In this video, however, I'm going to be showing you exactly how um, the curation part of the features work with WP Curation Pro. So when you're inside of your WordPress post editor or inside of your WordPress post or page section and you're ready to create a new post, then you're going to have the menu section towards the right hand side. And it looks very similar to WP Content Ranker. And throughout this video, I'll be pointing out the key differences and showing you exactly why they actually work absolutely beautiful together. So anyway, when you come to make a WordPress post or when you come to make a new post on your website, um, then you're going to either make a post because you've because you've got something to blog about or because you've done some research and you're finding your competitors are talking about a certain subject and you should be blogging about it as well. So, for example, if I'm in the SEO industry, I might go over to websites like SEO Roundtable. I might be going over to Search Engine Land. I might be going over to Backlinko. I might be going over to Google Webmaster Forums and whatnot. You. Um, and after I've done my research, I'm going to come along and I'm going to be creating my blog post. So what WP Curation Pro does, it allows you to bring all of your research, all of your findings and everything together into one place where you can create your post and perform absolutely fantastic curation as well. And it does this and it, it does this based on feeds. So I'm going to click the feeds icon here. And I'm going to actually maximize this area here and I'm going to show you exactly how to work with this. Now, just to let you know, you can actually maximize this and do whatever you want with this here, um, but we'll keep it like around here for now. Um, so in the back end, you're going to be able to add your own categories and you're going to be able to add your own feeds as well. So for my categories, I've added SEO. I've added HubSpot, I've added video marketing, and I've added a testing category as well. So with SEO, I'll quickly double click on SEO Roundtable. Um, but what you can see is when I've double clicked on SEO Roundtable, the server is going ahead and getting the posts from SEO Roundtable, and it's going to list them here so I can go through them one at a time. Um, I've got a, I've got a feed from Search Engine Land, from Mozblog, and from Matthew Woodward, and the plugin actually allows you to go ahead and search for these feeds. And this is how the majority of these feeds came about here. What I can do now is I can click on so. These are feeds that I've shortlisted or these are websites that I've shortlisted that I would go to to go and do some research um, if I want to actually perform a blog post because I've got a blog about SEO. So, for example, if you've got a blog about, say, cryptocurrency or Bitcoin, then you might have categories or you might have feeds in here that are all related to cryptocurrency and Bitcoin and the latest news and trends. Um, if you've got something about cannabis, then you might have feeds in here about cannabis blogs and muscle building with muscle building blogs and whatnot. You. So anyway, I've got SEO down here. So I can actually click on any one of these posts down here. And what happens um, is WP Curation Pro will load a HTML view of the actual post down here, which you can scroll through, you can look up and down to as well. Um, and it will also show you a text view. It'll show you headings view, H1s, H2s, H3s, and H4s if there are any. It'll give you meta de descriptions and meta tags, Tags are meta keywords if they've got any on there. It'll give you LSI terms and it'll give you images as well. Now, when it comes to LSI terms, then because we are not searching for a keyword, what WP Curation Pro does, it actually takes all of the content in the text area and it removes some ignore words that we don't want to use. Things like and, if, what, and you know, which aren't niche specific. Niche specific. And then what it does, it actually calculates how many times these words are used and shows you the most used words towards the top. So, for example, mid-November. Google algorithm search ranking update, the most used terms in here are keywords such as search, Google, SEO, update, forum, algorithm, Yahoo, updates, news, and ranking. And then you've got two phrases, you've got three phrases, and then you can actually check these with your own as well. So it's very, very similar to how WP Content Ranker works, but it works based off feeds. So for example, I can go over to HubSpot and I can have the server or I can have the plugin go ahead and visit HubSpot and bring back all the details here. I can go over and I can click on this, go over to HTML view, 
And again, I don't even need to leave my WordPress blog and I can do all of my research from here. Now, the really cool thing about this, guys, is let's say, for example, I'm writing an article or let's say I've done my research and I've said, OK, I want to write about you know, how to grow brand awareness. And I've written some details about how to grow brand awareness. And now I wanted to do some curation. OK, I can come along here. I can also get ideas from here. And I've got the idea of creating brand awareness post because of this feed here. Um, I can actually just highlight whatever area I want want for example and I can drag it and I can drop it into my content area and it's fully in there I can go over to the images section I can drag and drop oops I can drag and drop an image in here and the image is in there as well I can go back over to the HTML section if I want I can drag and drops I can drag and drop sections inside of the content area oops and that's been added in the wrong area it's always a good idea to actually add some um, blank spaces and the cool thing about this dialog box is you can close it and wherever you was guys you're going to be able to open it up again so for example i can come back over to this dialog box now i can go over to feeds and we're on exactly the same location again OK, so if I wanted this section here, for example, I can drag it and I can drop it into my content area and we've got it down here as well. OK, and don't forget, guys, um, you might actually have your own article down here and then you're saying, OK, well, you know what? I want this section down here um, to be added at a later date, in which case you can make use of the short code um, and you can say, OK, I want this added on. I don't know, let's say December the 14th. Just remember to watch the video below this video if you haven't already seen this. I'll have these auto syndicated uh, to these areas here. Oops, I've just multi dragged that image there. Um, and I'm going to click on OK. OK, and now that's been replaced with the short code and you can see the details that are going to get syndicated, that are going to get auto updated next month. Um, and this is how you work with WP Curation Pro. And when you're looking to do proper curation, guys, and you need to leave link backs as well, um, then you've got the whole link area down here. So after um, you've took on your area, um, you can say, OK, and this is a link back to this original article down here which is absolutely beautiful guys very very simple very straightforward as well um now there are a few other things that you can do with wp curation pro as well um so for example i'll go over to feeds again um what i can do i can actually press Control a um highlight it all and drag it all and drop it into my text editor so it might be easier for me to actually work with everything inside of my text area and leave everything out um, and then what i can do is i can actually go ahead and start formatting it all in the way that i would like so for example i don't want none of these areas down here um, i don't want her picture in there as well this is the writer um, instead i'm going to leave a link back um, to the actual site so i don't want that in there as well um, i might not want this image in here as well i might think that this image is too large um, and then you know what we've got all these links down here okay so i might not want the links so i'll highlight everything and i'll remove all links okay i don't even think this is a link down here okay but every other link has been removed i don't know why that wasn't removed um i think that's an image there we go it's an image that's why okay um yeah so um and then what i can do is go ahead and say okay i want to go ahead and spin it all and i can make use of the best spinner or spin rewriter now when you're spinning that isn't true curation guys um now the best way to do it is say okay you know this is an article that i curated or i got details from and i got it from this area here and this is the website link and that's your true creation there um, but you might want to spin it so if you want to spin it you can spin it guys you can also syndicate the content syndicating the content allows you to syndicate it to twitter tumblr and pinterest um, what you can also do as well guys which is really really cool um, is instead of just working with feed um, let's just make some space in here yeah okay okay so instead of working with just feeds guys what you what the plugin allowed you to do is work with video channels as well so inside the video as you can see I've got an abs category I've got SEO video marketing test category abs category is only my videos so only my channel so down here I can actually click on here and I can go ahead and view the video um, if I want to watch the video my computer is running fairly slow today guys so I do apologize well I can just drag it and drop it inside of my text area and add the video of my choice and I can play the video here as well if I want to play the video as well and if I go to the SEO category guys I can double click this um, this one here oops I haven't double clicked it 
Okay, and as you can see, I've got all the videos coming in from this channel here. If I double click this one here, I'm going to have all the videos coming in from this channel here. Now, the cool thing about this, guys, is because we work with the channel URL and the video URL, um, then it means every time a video is uploaded on the channel, you're always going to get new details down here. So if you come here tomorrow and a new video was added yesterday um, or today, then you'd be able to see that new video down here as well. So um, as and when new videos show on the channel, you're going to be able to see them down here as well. And adding them you know, is drag and drop easy as well. So anyway, this was how WP Curation Pro works guys. Um, now let me just compare this with WP Content Ranker and show you why this is very different. So for example let's say if I wanted to write a blog post today about private blog networks. Now if I go over to the feed section, um, I can't, and I go over to SEO, and I go over to SEO Roundtable. SEO Roundtable are going to have the latest posts that they've put onto their blog, and I don't know if they're going to have anything about private blog networks. Well, they're probably not, guys. If I go over to Search Engine Land, they're not going to have anything about private blog networks. They probably have wrote about private blog networks, but not at this precise time to work with feeds, guys. So what we do is with WP Content Ranker, let me just type in private blog network. With WP Content Ranker, I can do a search on either Google, Yahoo, or Bing for my keyword, or the keyword of my choice. And what it will do, it will actually go ahead and it will find the top 10 ranking sites inside of Google at this precise moment and tell you exactly who's ranking. And then it'll give you data. So it'll give you titles, headings, meta details, LSI details, and everything else, guys, based on your keyword. So what this allows you to do is when you already know what your keyword you're going to be targeting and you to produce content for it then you'd be using WP Content Ranker however when you want to do curation or when you want to go and find ideas um, of what you want to be blogging about or what not you guys um, then this is when you'd be using WP Curation Pro and as you can see they work absolutely beautifully together guys there's no problems with them there's no conflicts with them as well okay with WP Content Ranker um, you can go over to the alls tab and you can see all of the content down here you don't have a HTML view unfortunately um, but with WP Curation Pro you do and the reason behind it is because you might only want to be taking small bits and bobs of areas um, so then you can actually perform some nice curation with it. With WP Content Ranker however um, you can add any keyword you want um, and you can go ahead and get titles and headings and metadata um, and all sorts guys. So they both have their advantages um, and not to forget guys um, the feature that I've mentioned in the last um, video uh, which was being able to work with the Google Fresh Factor, auto syndications and auto updates dates and scheduled areas inside of your content itself. Now there is one more feature with WP Con uh, Curation Pro guys which I'm going to be leaving for another video. Um, just imagine having auto blogs. Now just imagine having automatically or just imagine having auto curated blogs now as well. Um, so WP Curation Pro also has an auto curation pro area which works based off templates that you add, based off feeds that you add, based on a uh, schedule and everything that you had as well and I'm going to be saving that for the next video guys so do keep an eye out for that next video for now however I'll take you over to the settings area and I'll quickly show you how this works. So we've got the ignore list and that, guys. I don't want to bore you with that. Uh, but with the categories and feeds and YouTube, guys, you can add your own category. So I can say test one, for example. Um, and when I go over to test one, I can go ahead and like, if I click on SEO, you can see all of my feeds inside of there. HubSpot, you can see my feeds in there and whatnot. I can go over to test one, click on add. And when I click add down here, I can add any feed I like, guys. One per line, my choice. Or I can have the plugin go ahead and do a search for us. So for example, SEO and it's going to pull back these feeds down here. I can go ahead, choose whichever ones I want. I can go ahead and click them and go into one of them inside of the um, inside of my browser first. Um, and then I can go ahead, if I'm happy with them, drag and drop them inside of here, click on here. And as you can see, these have been added. Uh, the same is true with YouTube as well. I go over to abs. As you can see, I've got one URL in there. I've got another, I've got two in there, I've got one in there, um, I've got one in there, and I can go ahead and add my own one as well in here. Um, and what happens is whatever ones you add inside of here will then become available inside of your area down here. So the plugin will actually grow with you. Um, the more you add to the plugin, the more your details and data you're going to be able to work with, the more blogs and the more competitors and everything you want to keep an eye on, guys, you're going to be able to keep an eye on, on them as soon as you make a post on your WordPress site. So it's really cool. It 
give some powerful features by your side um, so that you can really start producing quality content and producing quality curated content as well um, and really you know keeping an eye on your competitors at the same time um, so anyway um, keep a look out for the next video guys I think you're going to really enjoy the auto curated um, part of it as well um, it can go into automatic mode it can go into draft mode it can go into categories um, and there's so many more cool features to come but just don't forget to leave a comment below this video because you could be one of the lucky winners to win one of several developer licenses which we have available so until the next video guys i hope you enjoy this one